Today I'm comparing home office pixel displays. This is gonna be the Tidbit versus the Vooms Pixu 64 versus the Ulanzi Pixel Clock. Today I'm comparing pixel displays for your desk. There can be only one. Not really. You can buy all three like I did, but you really shouldn't. This video is gonna show you that each of these displays honestly serves a different kind of customer. But which display is right for you? Let's compare these three and see how they stack up. The Ulanzi Pixel Clock is absolutely the smallest of the bunch. It's made completely out of plastic and has 256 little lamp beads or lights. This clock is meant to be displayed on a flat surface, but you can move it around the room because there's a built-in battery. There is some protective plastic layered over the front of this clock that makes it susceptible to glare, so you're going to want to be strategic on where you place this in your room. The Tidbit is 64 by 32 pixels, and it's made with this really solid wood frame. Each pixel gets very bright, much brighter than the other two displays. One reason for that is there's no plastic cover over top of the pixels. You're not gonna get any glare with the Tidbit or reflections. So we have more of a plastic build with the Pixu 64. Davoom is giving you a variety of ways to display this. You can use the kickstand, you can use a wall mount here in the middle of the frame, or you can use stands by using these holes on the bottom. The Pixu 64 is far bigger than the other displays, and that means more room for more pixels. The extra pixels allow for some outstanding images. This is like a framed GIF for your office. It is extremely impressive. You may have noticed that there are reflections coming off of this display. I'd like to think that this makes the Pixu way more versatile, but not for your office. So I've made it a priority to keep the Pixu out of direct light, and that's really hard to do, but if you can achieve it, this looks really great. I'm just going to say it. Setting up the Ulanzi clock is just kind of wonky. And I think it just feels wonky by comparison. The Ulanzi clock doesn't have an app. Instead, you're given an address in the instructions that leads you to this menu page where you can adjust settings and have access to a limited number of other functions like a YouTube counter, which I think will be the most popular. The matrix one is pretty cool. Basic things like date, temperature. I think you kind of get what you pay for here. The Ulanzi clock is definitely a budget pixel clock at 49 US dollars. The setup for the Pixu 64 and Tidbit are pretty similar as they both start with downloading an app and each app is pretty good. With the Tidbit it is just crazy simple. So you're going to download the app, name the device, choose a location, connect to Wi-Fi and boom you're ready to start adding apps within the Tidbit app. It's awesome. Adding apps on the Tidbit is a pretty straightforward experience. I'm going to add a YouTube counter here. All I have to do is find my channel name, set a schedule. I can choose the days, I can choose the time, and then save. And for the Pixu 64, you're not naming the device, you're not choosing a location. You're literally just connecting to Wi-Fi and that's it. The app is a little more complicated and not quite as streamlined as the Tidbit app. There's a lot going on here and so many sections to explore. This can be both intimidating and really exciting because there's so much here. For example, you have the ability to create custom art and there's a visualizer that reacts to sound. So which of these displays is the best value? I think it's a tough question. When we talk about value, we normally think, how do I get the most for my money? But each of these devices can really provide something pretty different. The Ulanzi clock offers you a very affordable YouTube counter. That's really it. If you want it for other apps, I think you're gonna be disappointed. I believe the Tidbit is best for someone who values live tickers, stock tickers, sports tickers. If you like those, the Tidbit is your device and it does them way better than the Pixu 64 and the Ulanzi clock that doesn't even do that at all. There is some overlap. The Tidbit can be a YouTube counter. The Tidbit can show art, but 
It really thrives with live tickers, in my opinion. However, the Tidbit is the most expensive of the three devices at $179. That's a little steep for a lot of people. And for those of you who, above all else, value pixel art, the Pixu 64 is just the clear winner. And it's my favorite pixel display to share with friends or guests when they're over. It's just a lot of fun. The Pixu 64 can serve as a stock ticker or sports ticker, but it just doesn't do it as seamless as the Tidbit does. Every time a new clock loads on the Pixu 64, you get this annoying loading screen with an hourglass. It doesn't just flip over to the next slide. I really like this device. It's $155 right now on Amazon. I will put an affiliate link in the description. Pick one up. Let's do a little recap. Now, if you're a content creator and need a value YouTube subscriber counter, look no further than Ulanzi's Smart Pixel Clock. The best of the three devices for live tickers is definitely the Tidbit. And if you want to show off some pixel art to your friends, the best device for that is Devoom's Pixu 64. If you're getting a pixel display, that means you're trying to make whatever space you're in a lot more interesting and fun. Definitely check out this video where I talk about your work environment and working at home for beginners. Oh, 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 oh